In one Sussex County beach town, a battle is brewing over how tall buildings can be. Good evening, I'm Paul Butler. And I'm Steve Hammond. Welcome to WBOC News at 6 o'clock. Yes, we begin tonight at 6 in Fenwick Island, where council members are considering a new ordinance to allow homes to rise above the height limit, but only if it's to add more flood protection at the bottom. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Kozlov is live in Fenwick tonight. And Evan, a new twist here on an old debate. Right, and to understand this story, you first must understand what freeboard is. Essentially, that's the distance above flood level that a home or structure could be found. That's very important when you live in an area like this with so much water. And while some homes in town here in Fenwick Island are like this one, 707, pretty high up off the ground, others like their neighbor right here, not so much. Now the town is trying to incentivize homeowners to raise their freeboard by allowing them to raise their height limit as well. Homes. We're on East Georgetown Street in Fenwick Island where John Reimer is showing us some of the homes in the area. He says he's against the proposed ordinance because in his mind these homes can easily accommodate freeboarding without raising the roof above 30 feet. Freeboarding with regard to the height of our homes is a red herring. We have beautiful 30 foot homes in this town and most all of them and all the new ones conform to freeboarding of 18, 24, more inches than that. The ordinance would allow homeowners to go above the 30-foot height limit by as much as two feet, so long as it corresponds to the freeboarding down below. First reading was approved by a vote of five to one at the last council meeting. Mayor Eugene Langan says it's all about safety as sea level continues to rise. He says if the change isn't made, homeowners would, quote, have to squish down their roof and they would lose living area. <laughs> Meanwhile, it just hooked. Ash Gerstmeyer says if it's a one-time exception, she's on board to prevent flooding. If your home is at risk for flooding, you should be able to. It's just two feet. My only concern in the future is how many times are they going to say it's just two more feet. Meanwhile, a recent survey by the town shows people are pretty split on the issue. With a response rate of 40%, 190 people voted in support of such a change compared to 164 against. All right, now, as mentioned, the council vote was five to one. The sole vote in opposition was from Julie Lee. We do have a statement from her. She said that it all comes down to, quote, protecting the character of Fenwick Island. The next meeting is going to be tomorrow morning, 930, at the, or at the Charter and Ordinance Committee. There's expected to be a public hearing before the final vote on April 1st. Reporting here in Sussex County, the Seven Kozlov for WBOC News in Fenwick Island.